it's just so sudden and unexpected to think that a, a truck would come up onto the sidewalk and hit you at that area. Tragically, this is where a 24-year-old student's life ended. Eliza Grover, a post-baccalaureate pre-medical program student at Goucher College, was out running Saturday afternoon when she came to Providence Road just south of Cromwell Valley Elementary School. Police say as she stood on the corner at the raised crosswalk, a Ford F-250 pickup truck jumped the sidewalk and hit her. Oh, it was, I felt, I felt so bad. Ralph Reitenbach heard the crash and saw police arrest the driver who remained at the scene. They took him over there into the school and they did a sobriety test there and we watched it and they handcuffed him and they took him away. 57-year-old Richard Mays of Towson is charged with attempting to drive a vehicle not equipped with an ignition interlock. Attempting to drive a vehicle while impaired by alcohol and driving under the influence of alcohol. He's being held at the Towson Detention Center. A bail review is scheduled for Tuesday. What can we do about this road and the traffic? What can be done? Neighbors in the Towson area are deeply saddened. They say this is the third crash involving a pedestrian and serious injury or death. They've complained about speeding cars and trucks. They know the county has made improvements, including the raised crosswalk. I appreciate the, the effort. It certainly brings more attention to it, right, with the lines and, and the brick, but I don't think it does anything to slow traffic down. Something we witnessed. As he talked to us, a school bus drove through without slowing down. I actually went out and purchased a radar gun and clocked people coming down, up and down this road to see how fast they were really going. One day in the morning, I had a school bus come down here at over 50 mile an hour. A school bus flying down here. Now, concerning Eliza Grover, one more note. In a statement, Goucher College President Kent Devereaux writes, Eliza was very close with her post-baccalaureate class and generously assisted the Goucher volleyball team as she played volleyball while attending Brown University as an undergraduate. Eliza's death is a tragedy and the entire Goucher community mourns her loss. And again, the man accused of hitting her has a court hearing set for tomorrow. Reporting live from Towson, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.